there's still such a combination of you know, both technical and cost and infrastructure and all of these require advances on several fronts uh, somewhat simultaneously to create a tipping point. And more likely is that you know, there's advances in one area and, it, and other areas are holding it back a bit and then there's advances in another area. So, so there's a lot of, maybe more than some other innovations, there's a lot of chicken and egg situations. The panorama is changing according to the discovery connecting to the innovations and uh, the R&D coming from uh, car makers, coming from uh, public institutions and so on. It's a social problem it's a climatic problem, it's an ecological problem. It's also a, a problem because it becomes more and more a question for the customers. So uh, they are more and more interested by that and for us it's one of the, our main priorities. But it's complicated because consumers are used to liquid fuels. Uh, which have very fast refueling, can't refill at home, and uh, you can refill en route, and you have long range. So electric cars are different in all those respects. Uh, they're really more convenient in that you do most of your fueling at home while you're parked or in a parking garage. Um, you only rarely need to refuel away from home, <clears throat> whereas a gasoline or uh, diesel car, you're always refueling away from home. Uh, on the other hand, you have more limited range, so when you take a longer trip, you have to find some way to refuel. So um, to the challenge then to summarize uh, is to uh, provide uh, both a consumer understanding that this is really quite different from what they're used to, although it looks like a car, it works in a different way, and equally to have the combination of uh, refueling infrastructure and a vehicle that can make the best use of it. And I don't think we've really solved that problem yet. The possibility is that hybrids will grow faster, and the faster hybrids grow, the less room there will be for people to go straight to electric vehicles. Eventually, it helps with the transition, but in the short term, it may slow the number of people who go all the way to the, to the pure electric vehicle. Going from a pure um, car industry, selling a unique product, to an automobility industry uh, selling maybe a product but not not sure that we will sell a product uh, only we will sell also a service and many many services so it means that uh, it changed the entire business model of the industry and so the question is of course what strategy is the best in order to reorganize the positioning of the different actors within this new industry. But the second question is how to organize the relationship between the actors. The companies are trying very hard not to have the automobile become a kind of commodity, like a plain uh, personal computer that seems interchangeable. That how to make the kind of experience and the attachment to the vehicle something more like the way people feel about, about their phones or their uh, you know, electronic devices. It's, it's, it's tough, but that, that's, I think it's important to keep that more emotional connection aspect as well as the technical and policy aspects uh, in our minds. Young people seem not to view car ownership as such a necessity. Uh, they take longer to get their driver's licenses. Uh, they may not they may not buy a car or they buy a used car as a very practical thing. It's not a, like a love affair. In this industry, we can observe three stages. The first stage is when cars um, was kind of, mean of uh, a mean of transportation, but a beautiful mean of transportation. The car has to be seen, the, you know, it's kind of show off. You know. Uh, remember, uh, not a long time ago, there are some concours d'élégance uh, uh, where you present uh, yourself, your car, and your dog. Okay. Uh, then today, car is more something like um, it's not a smartphone on the wheels, but close to this, uh, with a lot of electronic. It, I don't know if it's a beautiful and elegant product, but it's very com complex product high technology products. 
uh, and new forms of mobility appeared. And then the third stage will be probably some cyber cars <laughs> with no drivers. And probably we will not, I don't know, but maybe we will not need cars anymore because um, some sociologists are talking about the demobility period. Demobility means that we will not have to be mobile. 